Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to WWE 2K22 Universe Mode Episode Number 7. This is Monday Night Raw, and we are just two weeks out to our first ever pay-per-view here on Universe Mode, WWE Backlash. And the road to the pay-per-view continues tonight as the number one contenders tournament for the WWE Championship rolls on. Tonight, we see the semifinals on the one side of the bracket. We have Mustafa Ali riding high off a big time victory over Seth Rollins last week. He will take on Drew McIntyre one-on-one -on -one later tonight on Raw. And in the other semifinal match, on the other side of the bracket, Damian Priest goes one-on-one -on -one with the phenomenal AJ Styles. That should be an extraordinary matchup. Two semifinal matches right here tonight on Raw. We're gonna find out who moves on to the finals of the number one contenders tournament coming up next week. But as the road to backlash continues on, let's kick things off with a little bit of singles action. Here comes the Prince, Finn Balor, a man who's looking to get back in the winning ways after two consecutive losses over the past couple of weeks. Finn Balor definitely looking to get back in the W column here tonight on Monday Night Raw. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Gray County, Wicklow, Ireland. Weighing in at 190 pounds, Finn Balor! So it was a couple of weeks ago here on Raw, Finn Balor went one-on-one -on -one with Shinsuke Nakamura for the Intercontinental Championship. Unfortunately for the Prince, even though he put up a valiant effort, Finn Balor was on the losing end that night, did not walk away with the Intercontinental Championship. Then this past week on WWE Main Event, we saw Finn Balor team up with Shinsuke Nakamura to take on the number one contender for the IC Gold, Sheamus, as well as Jinder Mahal. And in that matchup, Finn Balor not only got a cut over the eye, was bleeding profusely, but he was the one to take the pinfall in that match after suffering a bro kick from the Celtic Warrior Sheamus. So two big time losses in recent history for the Prince Finn Balor. But of course tonight, Finn Balor set for singles action. And he's looking to get back in the winning ways as we mentioned. The road to backlash continues. I cannot wait to see how things continue to heat up as we are just two weeks out from our first ever Universe Mode pay-per-view at Backlash. And here we go with Finn Balor's opponent tonight, the charismatic enigma, Jeff Hardy. Another man looking to get back in the win column after falling short in the first round of the tournament a few weeks ago. It was last week on Raw, not a few weeks ago, excuse me, that Jeff Hardy lost to Damian Priest in the first round of the number one contenders tournament. Damian Priest, of course, as we already saw, will face AJ Styles later tonight on Monday Night Raw in the semifinal matchup of the WWE Championship number one contenders tournament. But Jeff Hardy, after suffering that loss himself, looking to get back in the W column. So we got two men. This should be an exciting matchup. Two fan favorites, Finn Balor, Jeff Hardy, both just looking to get momentum back on their side. This should be a good one to kick us off here tonight on Monday Night Raw. I'm ready. Jeff Hardy, the Prince Finn Balor, one-on-one -on, -one on what should be a great night with two semifinal matches still to come as we are getting things underway here. And of course, as we mentioned, the Backlash pay-per-view coming up in a number of weeks. The WWE Championship will be on the line that night. Bobby Lashley will be defending the championship against the winner of our number one contenders tournament. Also confirmed for that show, the World Tag Team titles will be on the line as the Viking Raiders, Eric and Ivar, will defend in a rematch against the men they defeated for those World Tag Team Championships, Randy Orton and Matt Riddle, RK Bro, at the pay-per-view. We also know that we will be getting a six-pack challenge for the Cruiserweight Championship, the vacant Cruiserweight Championship. All six men have qualified for that match. Now six men will enter and only one man will leave with the Cruiserweight Championship on pay-per-view. Finn Balor, Jeff Hardy, went for the whisper in the wind, completely miscalculated as Finn Balor sidestepped him, hit him with the double stop. Now Finn's going to the top, big time splash early. 
Finn Balor, man, like we said, these guys both got a little bit of edge tonight. It's an interesting matchup. Two fan favorites here getting paired against each other for nothing more than the sake of competition. And in their own respective cases, just looking to get, get momentum back on their side as Jeff Hardy springboard drop kick to the outside. Wins and losses mean everything here, man. We've talked about it the past couple of weeks. You want to get in contention for championships. You want to get more opportunities. It's all about getting your hand raised inside the squared circle. And for both of these men, they have not gotten their hand raised over the past couple of weeks. Their shoulders have been pinned on the mat, especially Finn Balor, as he's gone two matches in a row being defeated inside that ring. Jeff Hardy on, their hand, on, their, on, the, on the other hand, excuse me, as we mentioned, just lost to Damian Priest last week. Damian Priest will see him later tonight against the phenomenal AJ Styles. Also, on the other hand, we will see Drew McIntyre taking on Mustafa Ali, who picked up a big upset victory against Seth Rollins last week on Raw in the first round of the number one contenders tournament. We see Ali versus Drew later up tonight on Raw as Jeff Hardy hits a nice insiguri on Finn Balor. We mentioned Finn being involved with the Intercontinental Champion Shinsuke Nakamura the last couple of weeks. Another match that is signed for the Backlash pay-per-view. Shinsuke will defend the Intercontinental Gold against the number one contender, the Celtic Warrior Sheamus, as Jeff Hardy comes down with a big-time splash. And now Jeff going for the cover pretty early on, though, as Finn Balor gets the shoulder up at two. So a lot of high offense, high-flying offense from Jeff Hardy thus far, but not enough to put away the Prince. And a spinning heel kick by the charismatic and they we tying up here. Jeff Hardy going to drop Finn Balor with the DDT. You got to remember, Finn Balor was busted open on main event this past week. It was early on in the matchup. Sheamus dropped the knee on a lie down. Finn Balor just caught him in the right spot. It was early on. They just caught him right in, the, right in the right spot, right above the eye. Finn Balor was gushing throughout that matchup. Obviously all sewed up now, but Jeff Hardy got to be careful. Well, Finn Balor, I'll get back to that point. Schoolboy, but not enough. Trying to catch Jeff Hardy off guard. Doing anything he can to get the win here tonight. Can't blame Finn Balor with a move like that. Like we mentioned, Finn Balor all cleaned up. But he's got to be careful. He does get reopened. Get that wound reopened. Definitely could have played dividends and been one of the factors as to Finn Balor getting completely knocked out cold with that bro kick in that main event tag team matchup this past week. I mean, obviously, the bro kick itself is an extraordinary maneuver, but when you're already busted wide open, it's going to hurt even more and knock you out even more as Finn looking to put the hurt on Jeff Hardy a submission hold on the outside this is a move that can't win you the matchup on the outside of the ring it could cer certainly inflict more damage as Finn Balor has definitely seems like got a little bit of an edge here tonight I mean we saw him try to schoolboy Jeff Hardy real quick with that roll up try to steal the win early as Finn Balor goes to the dive Topek and Hilo over the top rope taking out Jeff Hardy Finn Balor, the Prince, is unleashed here tonight on Raw, man. He has throwing caution in the wind and clearly trying to do anything he can to get his hand raised. As it hits a big time in Seguri, knee to the face almost of Jeff Hardy. Finn is in complete control over Jeff and a suplex on the outside of the ring, almost a dead level perhaps. A brain buster suplex variation. And Finn Balor is in complete control over Jeff. Jeff is hurting right now. And another DDT on the outside of the ring. Finn Balor is absolutely a lace. He's beating the hell out of Jeff. Maybe taking it a little too far. If, if I'm in my eyes, but I don't want to question the strategy of these competitors. I mean, I understand where Finn's coming from. He's feeling a little bit on edge. After losing a couple of matches the last few weeks. He goes in and breaks the count. Now he wants to inflict more damage to Jeff on the outside. Falling on the outside is going to hurt, hurt worse, even hurt even more worse, excuse me, than falling inside that squared circle. Finn is doing damage on Jeff Hardy tonight, man. Momentum certainly in his favor, and look at this, moves like that. And it ain't illegal. He's keeping it within the rules, so you can't blame Finn Balor necessarily, but you see he's just clearly got an edge with him tonight. Jeff with the right hand. He's trying to battle back here. I'm sure Jeff wants to get this thing back into the ring. As there, there you see the charismatic game with Jeff Hardy. To get things back in the ring. Trying to slow things down a bit. Just trying to rest up. After that vicious attack from Finn. And there's a nice drop kick from Jeff. Making a dose. One in the back of the head. What a great matchup. We have kicking us off. 
here on episode 7 of Universe Mode. For Monday Night Raw, there's a Pele kick by Finn. Jeff Hardy. And Finn's going to the top rope, but Jeff's getting back to his feet and Finn could have left otherwise. Could have been going for the coup de grace there, but Jeff Hardy saw might would have been coming to it. Look at that. Standing moonsault. Not enough. Jeff almost had Finn. Almost caught him off guard there. Jeff rolled up off his feet. Or excuse me, off his mat to the feet. To avoid possibly the coup de grace from Finn. Finn came at Jeff, but Jeff, look at this! Jeff Hardy from the top! Or excuse me, from inside the ring, jumping over the top rope. Almost a swanton bomb, if you will, to the outside on the fin. Jeff is absolutely starting to... Oh, my God. Jeff Hardy throwing caution in the wind. What a match we have on Raw right now. Just a fall away dive from Jeff takes out Finn. Jeff clearly a bit woken, if you will. After Finn Balor's vicious offense, Jeff Hardy clear, pull, clearly pulled out a couple of tricks that are up his sleeve. Jeff, twist of fate! Jeff Hardy with the twist of fate to Finn Balor! Finn got back in the ring. He got meant with one of Jeff Hardy's signature maneuvers. Jeff going to the top rope. Swan Tom Bomb! No, Finn got the knees up! Finn Balor with the knees up on the back of Jeff. Jeff Hardy's got a history of lower back problems that is not going to pay dividends for Jeff Hardy later in this matchup. He's trying to fight back here. Things are picking up now. These guys are throwing caution in the wind and throwing everything they got at each other to get the win here tonight on Raw. Man, I can't believe those series of dives from Jeff Hardy. The senton and then the fall away dive comes in. Uh, twist of faint. Went for the swanton bomb, but Finn got the knees up and out into a submission hold momentarily. Finn really withstood a good flurry of offense from Jeff here. Finn's going up to the top. Jeff might just be a little too far away for that coup de grace. Finn once again get elect otherwise. Probably the smart move though. But Jeff, to pay, look at this. Pinfall out of nowhere. Jeff into the cover. He's holding the shoulders down with the legs. Oh, Finn's shoulder up at the last second. I think you're going to even pinch the hands of Jeff somehow. Things are really picking up here. Jeff with a nice splash. Man, what a great opening match we have. Plus we still got two semifinal matches to go. The road to backlash is certainly heating up. Nice kick. Finn Balor's down. Jeff could be going for the Swanton yet again. No, instead he goes for the splash. Doesn't want to take the chance and inflict punishment on his back. If Finn Balor is able to get the knees up, probably a smart decision from Jeff Hardy. Unfortunately, the splash, not as much of an impact as the Swanton bomb. Finn Balor able to get the shoulder up. Nice kick from Jeff Hardy. You're going to see, I, I'd assume... Jeff go back to those big time signature maneuvers very soon. And the same goes for Finn Balor. Takes down Jeff Hardy. And Finn into the cover. Jeff Hardy may be KO'd. That, oh man, I was about to call it. I was about to call Finn Balor your winner. But Jeff Hardy still in this fight. And as we mentioned, this is just a one on one matchup. Finn Balor went for the dick, discus elbow. Nice kick. As we mentioned, this is a one-on-one -on -one matchup between two fan favorites. Two men paired together simply for the fact that somebody's got to build some more momentum. Jeff, twist of fate out of nowhere. Jeff Hardy hit the twist of fate on Finn. No, it's not enough. The second twist of fate of the match, Finn Balor survives it. Finn Balor in a former NXT champion, former Intercontinental champion, former Universal champion for no reason. He knows how to put up a fight. Inside the squared circle, Jeff puts Finn on the top rope. He's going high risk, possibly high reward. Frankensteiner, Finn Balor holds on to the top rope. Jeff Hardy may be in trouble. He's holding on to that knee. He might have landed awkwardly. Finn Balor scouting Jeff. What is he looking for here? No, Jeff holds on. There's a kick. There's another one. Finn Balor back to the corner. No, Finn, forearm. He's got some going out of here. There's the swing blade. Signature maneuver from Finn. And the drop kick follows it up. And after that costly misstep from Jeff. No, nope, never mind. I was about to say Jeff might be in trouble. But Finn goes down. What a match. Jeff Hardy standing moonsault into the cover on Finn Balor. What a match this has been. Three. He got him. He got him. I called the three. There it is. Jeff Hardy surprisingly with that standing moonsault able to get the win over Finn Balor and I gotta think 
Jeff elected not to go for another Swanton Bomb after that right there. Finn Balor got the knees up, and Jeff went high risk a couple more times in this match, but elected not to go for the Swanton. And I don't think Jeff wanted to risk any more further injury to the, to the lower back area, knowing of his history of problems and did not want that to affect him in this matchup. Got there a couple of twists of feints in that standing moonsault. Jeff Hardy, what a big win. And with Jeff Hardy bouncing back with that victory, you gotta wonder if Jeff Hardy... Whoa, 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 Wait a minute. Finn Balor, the match... What is it? The match is over. Jeff Hardy picked up the win over Finn. But Finn Balor is not done. What the... He just sent Jeff Hardy over the top rope. What is going on? Finn Balor... Oh, my God. Senton from the... Apron, what has gotten in the fin? And I was still chair to the head. That is, this is absolutely unnecessary. Finn Balor clearly fed up with his third loss in a row. And he has taken the attack to Jeff Hardy. I do not condone this kind of action at all. Finn Balor has snapped. He's beating the hell out of Jeff and there's a forearm. A knockout blow. Finn Balor has absolutely been unleashed. And he has snapped after his third loss tonight. Well, nonetheless, whether I agree with those tactics, we have to move on because we got ourselves a semi-final matchup in the number one contenders tournament for the WWE Championship right here, right now. Following contest is scheduled for Making his way to the ring from Chicago, Illinois, weighing in at 182 pounds, Mustafa Ali. Well, let's take a look at the bracket that we have seen take place over the last few weeks. Four men remain after we started with eight. Four men continue to battle it out tonight. Of course, as we've been mentioned, then the finals of this tournament will take place next week here on Raw. And after that comes Backlash in a meeting with the almighty WWE Champion, Bobby Lashley. Who's going to make it out of the semifinals? Right now we have Mustafa Ali versus Drew McIntyre. In our main event tonight, we have AJ Styles versus Damian Priest. Which two men are going to move on? Which two men are going to fight in the finals of the tournament next week? We are going to start finding that out right here, right now. Mustafa Ali's in the ring and here comes the opponent, Drew McIntyre, a former WWE Champion, looked to climb his way back to the top of the mountain. A man who's had a history of problems with Bobby Lashley, he wants one more go around with the Almighty One inside the squared circle of Backlash. If he gets through Mustafa Ali, he punches his ticket to next week. And if he gets through that, Drew McIntyre's got the match he's been waiting for for a long time. One more go around for the WWE title. Here comes Drew. Drew McIntyre two weeks ago here on Raw defeated Cesaro. We, we talked about this last week. The fact that we had two, two excuse me, first round matches two weeks ago on Raw and then the final two first round matches took place last week. Drew McIntyre as well as AJ Styles were the men that competed in the first round matches two weeks ago. So they have had the longer rest in preparation for tonight. They got to sit back and watch in Drew McIntyre's case Mustafa Ali. Get the victory over Seth Rollins. AJ Styles gets to sit back and watch. Damian Priest get the win over Jeff Hardy last week. Extra rest for those men heading into the semifinal matches tonight. But here we go. A huge opportunity for Mustafa Ali. Drew McIntyre looking to get back to the top of the mountain. And here we go. Mustafa Ali getting to this match tonight after a huge upset victory over Seth Rollins last week. As McIntyre centered into the corner. Mustafa Ali was absolutely relentless in that matchup. Before the bell, brung the attack to the Messiah, Seth Rollins. Mustafa Ali, we talked about it in that matchup. He's a guy who's been searching for an opportunity for a very long time. He saw an opportunity in this tournament. He finally got a chance. He knew he had to get through Seth Rollins in the first round, and boy, did he ever. He was able to tap out Seth 
to that Koji clutch. But now the obstacle gets even bigger as he has quite the mismatch against Drew McIntyre right now. And clearly, the Claymore King is in control. Drew McIntyre, on the other hand, like we mentioned, it was two weeks ago. He had a very physical matchup against Cesaro. Pound for pound strength. These guys were throwing each other all over that ring. Beating the hell out of each other as Ali takes McIntyre down with the springboard tornado DDT. But Mustafa Ali's still got to be feeling it, like we mentioned. McIntyre's had two weeks rest. Ali only about six days. Or excuse me, seven days. Ali's got to be feeling it after that physical an exciting main event against Seth Rollins last week. What, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Seth Rollins' music has hit. And we knew Seth Rollins was probably not going to be too happy about the loss to Mustafa Ali last week. And it doesn't even look like Seth Rollins is coming out here. I, I know Drew McIntyre isn't that kind of competitor who wants to take advantage of the distraction. But I mean, Ali's back was turned. McIntyre's trying to win this matchup and move on to the tournament. You can't blame him necessarily, but Seth Rollins, we knew he was going to be upset after losing to Ali in the first round and just playing the distraction right there. Just letting his music hit, taking Ali's eye off the ball for just a second. Ali's trying to get back into this. He sends the big man to the outside. Because Ali's got to stay focused. He can't let Seth Rollins get in his head with things like that. And Drew McIntyre is going to be Ali's toughest task. And Ali's got to do what he just did there. Use the speed to avoid the strength. And he takes down Drew. He can't beat him on the outside of the ring, but he can certainly inflict some damage, as he's looking to do right here with that camel clutch on the big man. Takes the pain to the lower back of Drew McIntyre. You take out the lower back, it's going to be harder for Drew to hit some of those powerful maneuvers that we see him deliver in the ring. As Drew sends Ali right into the barricade here. It's been an inter interesting matchup so far. Ali's definitely hanging in there. The distraction from Seth Rollins clearly took... Ali's eye off the ball for a moment. But Drew McIntyre delivers that big time headbutt to Ali. He's locking the legs. Claymore, or excuse me, future shock DDT. But Ali gets the shoulder up at two. I almost called it Claymore. I apologize. Drew McIntyre with the headbutt follows it up with that future shock DDT. But Ali, credit to him, gets the shoulder up at the one of Drew McIntyre's signature maneuvers. Ali is not looking to let this huge opportunity slip him by. He got through Rollins last week. He's got to get through Drew tonight. And he'll move on to the finals next week. And move one step closer to a chance to a main event pay-per-view against Bobby Lashley. McIntyre is down. Ali's going to the top rope. Ali's got to capitalize. Hits the splash from the top. Ali's got to capitalize. He's got to cover him if he wants to try to take Drew McIntyre out. But no, Ali's got other plans. McIntyre's in position. Mustafa's going back to the top rope. 450, but Drew McIntyre got out the way. Ali hit the splash. He connected. He went for the 450, but McIntyre got up. And now Drew, the big man, is back in control. Ali is down and out after that costly misstep. And I think we know what Drew McIntyre is eyeing up him. There it is. Claymore kick. And as much as I love to see Mustafa Ali get an opportunity, you could probably count to 20 on that. Drew McIntyre punches his ticket to the finals with that Claymore kick, knocking Mustafa Ali's lights out here tonight. And he got to, unfortunately, give an aid to Seth Rollins. We know Drew McIntyre wouldn't like it to be that way, but Seth Rollins with that distraction earlier on. Ali tried fighting back into this, but in the end, that Claymore kick Knocks his lights out for good in this tournament. Here is your winner, Drew McIntyre. Drew McIntyre moves on. He will fight either Damian Priest or AJ Styles next week, right here on Raw in the finals of the number one contenders tournament. Will it be Drew McIntyre getting one more go around with Bobby Lashley at Backlash? Well, so far tonight here on Monday Night Raw, it was Jeff Hardy getting the win 
over Finn Balor. Unfortunately, Finn Balor stood tall in the end after that post-match attack. Drew McIntyre, we just saw, defeats Mustafa Ali. He's moving on to the number one contenders tournament. Still to come, we have Rhea Ripley taking on Sonya Deville. RK Bro will take on Cedric Alexander and Shelton Benjamin of the Hurt Business, trying to build momentum towards their World Tag Team Championship matchup at Backlash. Shinsuke Nakamura takes on Jinder Mahal, stemming from that tag team match on main event this past week. And then, of course, in tonight's main event, AJ Styles and Damian Priest, one-on-one. -on -one. Rhea Ripley picks up the win over Sonya Deville in women's action, continuing to build momentum for herself. We have Randy Orton and Matt Riddle picking up the win over the Hurt Business on their way to Backlash in a couple of weeks' time. We have Shinsuke Nakamura defeating Jinder Mahal one-on-one, -on -one. and it is now time for your main event, number one contender semifinal action. Let's get things underway. Drew McIntyre advances, but who will be his opponent? AJ Styles, Damian Priest, one-on-one -on -one in the main event, right here, right now, on Monday Night Raw. This is going to be a good one, folks. Strap in. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring. From Gainesville, Georgia, weighing in at 218 pounds, the phenomenal AJ Styles. Two weeks ago, AJ Styles defeated Ricochet in the first round of the number one contenders tournament. It was an exciting matchup, and AJ Styles used a pretty interesting ta tactic to win. He used Ricochet's own move against him. That code breaker knee knocked out Ricochet, a move we usually see. Ricochet used Styles used against him, and that is how Styles punched his ticket to this semifinal matchup tonight. On the other hand, it is the Archer, Damian Priest, who just defeated Jeff Hardy last week on Raw. Shorter rest period for this man, but we know he's going to throw absolutely everything he's got at the phenomenal AJ Styles in this semifinal showdown. And his opponent from New York, New York, weighing in at 249 pounds. As Priest makes his way to the ring, we got some breaking news regarding our next main event episode. Triple threat matchup to decide the number one contender for the women's championship that Bianca Belair holds at Backlash. That'll go down on main event. Also on main event, Seth Rollins set for one-on-one -on -one action against John Morrison. It'll be interesting to see Seth Rollins' next move in his career. And I'm sure Mustafa Ali is going to have his eyes on that matchup. That's coming up on Universe Mode Episode 8 on WWE Main Event. Well, let's get to the matter at hand. It is the final semi-final matchup in the number one contenders tournament for the WWE Championship. We've set the stage many times. Who will fight Drew McIntyre next week on Raw? Will it be the Archer or Damian Priest? Or will it be the phenomenal AJ Styles? Let's get things underway. The bell has sounded, and we are off to the races for our main event. AJ Styles, a former WWE Champion, a former Tag Team Champion, Intercontinental Champion, United States Champion. He's held pretty much all the gold here in the WWE. On the, on the other hand, we have Damian Priest, who is a former United States Champion, as well as a former NXT North American Champion. Not the first time he can and possibly see more gold in his career. Just imagine if Damian Priest gets in the ring with Bobby Lashley. We could be looking at a new WWE Champion. AJ Styles, on the other hand, like we mentioned, he's been to the top of the mountain before. But it's been quite some time since AJ Styles has held World Championship gold here in the WWE. We know he wants to get back to the pinnacle of the WWE. And that all started with the beginning of this tournament. We'll see if AJ Styles can continue to move on. But with moves like that from Damian Priest, it ain't looking too pretty. This is truly Damian Priest's first big opportunity to challenge for the WWE Championship. He's just got to continue to make his way through this tournament. It was seven days ago on Monday Night Raw, Damian Priest defeated Jeff Hardy. In a great matchup, a valiant effort by Jeff, but Damian Priest in the end hit everything he needed to. Hit the lights on Jeff Hardy, and it was Damian Priest getting his hand raised. We talked about how AJ Styles decided to use Ricochet's own move against him to defeat him in the first round of the tournament two weeks ago. He pulled out some of his... Very well-known maneuvers did the phenomenal AJ Styles, but AJ Styles saw an opportunity and he took it. And he threw Ricochet off his game, hitting him with that code breaker knee. 
Priest on the outside here. AJ Styles eyeing him up. Forearm to the outside. A phenomenal forearm to the outside of the ring. Down goes Priest and sends him into the steel steps. AJ Styles takes control. Damian Priest may have a, a smaller list of accolades here in the WWE, but he is no rookie to this business. He's a veteran of this of this business is Damian Priest. AJ Styles, everybody knows his story. He's traveled around the world. TNA, Ring of Honor, New Japan Pro Wrestling. Now here in the WWE, AJ has done it all. And he's looking to get back to the top of the mountain once more. There's a couple of shots from AJ Styles. Some of his signature offense from the phenomenal one. And there's some signature offense as well with that split knee to the forehead of Damian Priest. He's got to watch. That's a maneuver, a maneuver, excuse me. It could definitely bust you wide open if it hits you in the right spot. AJ takes Priest over. AJ Styles, as we mentioned, both these men, veterans of this business, but AJ Styles clearly the guy who has had more main event experience in the WWE especially. Damian Priest was a face of NXT for his time down there, but since being on the main roster, although he has definitely held his own, like we mentioned, he's a former United States champion, truly hasn't been in that main event spotlight like AJ Styles had. I mean, ever since AJ Styles came to the WWE, he's basically been one of the top stars. Every WrestleMania AJ, AJ Styles has been a part of, he's taken on a top superstar, a main event caliber match. Because at this past WrestleMania, AJ Styles got the win over the rated R superstar edge. AJ Styles. May have the more veteran experience, or should be more main event experience, but Damian Priest is no slouch in that ring, but AJ Styles throws him off guard. Nice reversal, pulls the leg in to the clothesline. Now AJ, look at this. Signature AJ Styles there. The springboard moonsault into a neckbreaker, not a move that AJ pulls out that often. It's a hard move to connect for the Phenomenal One, but when he does, it is clearly effective. AJ's really pulling out some signature offense here tonight. Anything, got to do anything you got to do to move on to the finals. Look at this, Damian Priest. Choke slam. Sit out, choke slam from Priest. I'm surprised he didn't go for the cover there. That's a signature maneuver for Priest. Damian Priest hit the lights. Early on for Priest to hit one of his finisher maneuvers. Priest with the hit the lights to AJ Styles. He took a second to go for the cover there, but that may be all. Priest, no, AJ gets the shoulder up at the last second. And I gotta believe that Damian Priest might have had that victory had he not hesitated on that pinfall. It was the sit out choke slam to AJ Styles. He followed it up with hit the lights, and then we saw Damian Priest. He tried getting AJ away from the ropes a little bit. Smart overall, but unfortunately, just gave AJ Styles that moment to rest. And AJ was able to get the shoulder up. It's now AJ is back in control. Nice springboard moonsault there. Some more amazing offense from the Phenomenal One. Priest gets the shoulder up at two. And Priest also, you know, he let AJ Styles rest there for a second, but then he tried following it up fast with some high flying offense, but completely miscalculated AJ's positioning in the ring. He put the momentum in AJ's corner for a second, but you see now Priest is now back in control. There's a stiff kick to the lower back. Priest is going high on AJ Styles. Not something we see him do often, but also not something he's unfamiliar with. AJ on the top. Priest goes for the spinning heel kick from the top rope, and AJ got out of the way. AJ with the knee. The Phenomenal One's in control. He's going for that calf crusher on Damian Priest, but AJ Styles, the ring positioning was off. It's something we've got to give Damian Priest, I guess you could say, so far in this matchup. He is aware of AJ Styles ring positioning on that pinfall. AJ just kind of went for it there. Smart in hindsight, but unfortunately, the ring positioning threw off that calf pressure. And Priest is able to get the momentum back in his corner for now, and AJ Styles springs back with the phenomenal forearm. These guys are going back and forth these last few minutes. The longer this match progresses, the more things are going to get heated up. Frog splash from AJ Styles. Who is going to move on to fight Drew McIntyre next week on Monday Night Raw? And also next week on Raw, ladies and gentlemen, not only will we be kicking things off. Nice sit-out sit -out suplex, excuse me, from Damian Priest. But also next week on Raw, in addition to the finals of the tournament, which will be opening up Monday Night Raw, we will see the in-ring return 
of the WWE Champion Bobby Lashley as he gets a tune-up match before the Backlash pay-per-view. Both of those big-time matches coming next week. Bobby Lashley will be in action, and Drew McIntyre will take on the winner of this contest here as it was about to be Damian Priest, but AJ gets the shoulder up just in the nick of time. AJ unloading on Priest here. Look at this. Great offense from AJ. Just unloading. Here you go. Priest goes down. The momentum back in the Phenomenal One's corner, and AJ could be looking for the phenomenal forearm here. Springboard goes for the forearm, but Damian Priest sidesteps it. AJ went for the high impact maneuver, looking to knock out Priest, but now Priest is in control. Fish eyes, AJ Styles. Snake eyes, excuse me. Things are heating up here. AJ went for the phenomenal forearm. The final blow, Priest was able to sidestep it, but AJ gets the momentum back. We talked about AJ's main event experience earlier on. You got to think possibly the lack of main event experience for Damian Priest might be getting in the way here. Maybe messing with the head a little bit. We're not sure. I mean, he's clearly putting up the offense, but you got to think of any possibility. AJ Styles trying to pick up the bigger man. Oh, AJ hit the lights. AJ just hit Damian Priest with hit the lights. That's the same tactic that he used against Ricochet as we talked about. AJ, AJ Styles once again uses his opponent's maneuver against him. First he did it against Ricochet in the first round and after he failed to hit the phenomenal forearm earlier on, AJ Styles elects to hit Damian Priest with his own finishing maneuver. He went for the calf crusher earlier as well, the ring positioning goes off, but AJ Styles electing to hit Damian Priest's hit the lights finisher against him and what a maneuver from AJ Styles. AJ bringing style and strategy to the tournament so far, but there is your updated bracket. Two men remain. AJ Styles and Drew McIntyre punch their ticket to next week on Raw. The WWE Championship number one contenders tournament finals. The Claymore King Drew McIntyre versus the phenomenal AJ Styles. Who will move on to fight Bobby Lashley for the WWE Championship at Backlash? Thank you for joining us. We'll see you next week on Raw.